Welcome to all. In this video, I am going to give the details about steam boiler mountings. The blow of hog, which means to drain out water from the boiler for internal cleaning, inspection, or other purpose. You, you can see in the figure itself uh, the block wall body, hospitals packing, shake, shank, guard, wall yoke, clan, casing, seat screw. Here the block will move while rotating the shank through the handle. Because of that we can able to drain out the water from the boiler. Blow of hog function is to discharge mud and other sediments deposited in the bottom most part of the water space in the boiler while boiler is in operation to drain off boiler water. Then the location of blow of cock. It is mounted at the lowest part of the boiler when it is open, water under the pressure rushes out thus carrying sediments and mud. And the construction, it, it is fitted on the boiler shell directly or through the short branch of pipe at lowest part of the water space. It consists of gunmetal conical black having a rectangular hole spindle with a yoke as shown in figure. In the previous slide we have shown that blow of cock figure. The block meshes accurately into the similar casing. The block spindle is generally rotated by means of spanner on the top of the yoke. Two vertical slots are provided for fixing spanner. This operation principle is that when rectangular hole of block is brought in line with casing hole by rotating spindle, the water flow out. When the solid portion of the block is in front of casing hole, the water cannot flow out of boiler, mud and manholes. To allow men to enter into the boiler for inspection and repair like that the maintenance work it will allow. Boiler accessories In the buyer's accessory schematic diagram shown in the figure here the, uh, from the boiler the gases is flowing to the superheater and the as is uh, coming out from the boiler to uh, outside and then uh, generated steam is entered into the superheater again the steam is uh, superheated and sent to the engine uh, and some more part also uh, supplied into that economizer the air preheater uh, finally that uh, gases flue gases will flow uh, out through the chimney in that way the boiler accessories uh, of the boiler plant is working economizer the purpose of economizer is to heat the feed water by direct use of the heat of flue gas discharged to the atmosphere through chimney the economizer reduces the temperature of flue gas, the feed water temperature is increased substantially. Thus, the, is a saving in heat, the boiler efficiency is increased up substantially. The economizer is placed in the path of the exit gas nearer to the boiler. And this advantages is about 50 to 20 percentage of coal saving. It increases the steam rising capacity of the boiler. It prevents formation of scale in boiler water tube because the scale now formed in the economic tube. 
which can be cleaned easily can see clearly in that economizer diagram in the zigzag line showing that uh, economizer tube and both side we can see two column uh, material which is uh, represented that uh, outside of the boiler uh, wall here the outlet header is receiving the water or steam uh, from the inlet header uh, in in between the water is flowing through the economizer coil when it is flowing the flue gases passes through the economizer tube because of that uh, the water absorbs the heat from the flue gas and then it will be uh, converted the heat energy into steam energy and finally we can get the steam and send to the boiler air preheater the function of the air preheater is to increase the temperature of air before it enter the furnace here you can see the flue gas inlet and the flue gas outlet as well as the air inlet and the air outlet when we are going to use the air we need to frigate the air for uh, improving the efficiency and utilizing the outlet of the flue gas so that we need to utilize the air preheater to increase the overall plant efficiency and the air preheater is placed after the economizer flue gases passes through the economizer and then to the air preheater degree of preheating depended on types of fuel types of fuel burning equipment and rating at which the boiler and the furnace are operated the function of the air preheater is to increase the temperature of air before it enter the furnace it's placed after the economizer flue gases pass through the economizer and then to the air preheater degree of preheater already we have discussed the topic superheater the function of a superheater is to increase the temperature of the steam above its saturation point the superheater is very important accessories of a boiler and can be used both on fire tube and water tube boiler here the schematic diagram shown that the superheater the heat carrying flue gas uh, passes through the water tube boiler and as well as some somewhat uh, passes through the economizer through that uh, we can achieve the superheated steam uh, to improve the boiler efficiency advantages of superheated steam steam consumption of the engine or turbine is reduced erosion of turbine blade is eliminated efficiency of the steam plant is increased losses due to condensation in the cylinder and the steam pipe are reduced the steam separator the function of steam steam separator is to remove the entire entrained water particles which means if there is any unwanted materials or unwanted particles in the water uh, this steam separator will filter it and then convey it to the steam uh, and then uh, convey that pure steam into the engine or turbine it is installed as close to the steam engine as possible on the main steam pipe from the boiler here the figure shown that wet steam entered at left hand side and dry steam leave at right hand side the demister dim pan will store that uh, uh, filtering element uh, wet steam also getting out from the uh, demister demister pan and finally the water droplet falling and collecting at the bottom of the steam separator
condensate into steam dropped the steam separator is a device which separates water particles from steam it is used to increase the dryness fraction and quality of steam before it enter into the turbine or engine they usually employ a chamber to collect condensate and drain valve which activates automatically as per the preset water level in the chamber large surface area exposed the they mainly classified into buffle separator centrifugal separator mechanical cold seam separator feed pumps used to deliver feed water to the boiler it is desirable that the quality of water supplied should be at least equal to that evaporated and supplied to the engine there are two types of feed pumps are available reciprocating pump another one is rotate rotary pump within this i have concluded this topic and then next uh, part to four video going to show that uh, boiler steam boiler details thank you